your life for all of those who um, have been conflicted over the past weeks about their religious beliefs. When you bring consciousness into your life, what you're really saying is that you're bringing in, allowing the spirit of that which is God to flow through you and be the preeminent force in your life. Yes. Isn't that what you're saying? Yes, yes, yes. It's no longer the little me. It's not the little me. Yeah. You are connecting yourself to the bigger source, yes. to the source of all things. Yes, and let it then flow through you. And then this is, for example, where creativity comes into your life. It's all, crea true creativity can only come in when you let that dimension into your life. So the source energy manifests through you. And creativity can start with a little thing like even a tiny creative thought or some new way of looking at something is already a sign of creativity. But most important, it's recognizing that when you can be conscious of the consciousness, when you bring the presence of that which is consciousness or the spirit of a higher power or the spirit of God into your life and you allow that to direct your path, that then all things come to you as they should. Yes. Yeah. You, that's how you create the flow. Yes, that's yeah. the flow, entering the flow. Yeah. And that is how you say um, a new species is arising on the planet. It is arising now, and we are it. Yes, yes. This is such an enormous shift in consciousness that's happening. It's almost, this is why I use that expression, it's almost as if we were transforming into a new species. Hmm. For the first time, a conscious species. It's almost as if Humanity was only now beginning to actually wake up. Yes. Eckhart, because of my, my book <laughs> and the condition of my book, presented me with um, a leather-bound copy of A New Earth. Would you share with them what you wrote in uh, my book? I wrote a little, uh, the little poem that I also quote in chapter 10 by the Persian poet Hafiz, mm -hmm. um, which starts... Um, I am a hole in the flute that the Christ's breath moves through. Listen to this music. That's the poem. I am a hole in the flute. I'm not the flute. I'm a hole in the flute that the Christ's breath, God's breath, moves through. Listen to this music. So I wrote this little poem and I said to Oprah, she was a wonderful whole, that energy is moving through her, and the world is listening to this music. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Thank uh, you. With this magnificent piece of work that you've given to us through your words, and obviously you are the whole also, Yes. for which Christ's breath the breath of God, the breath of all energy and creation flowed through you in order for you. to write this. I mean, as I have read it over and over again, now on my fourth reading, 
I, I marvel at how you were able to put these sentences together in such a way that they connect to, have connected to me and to um, all of you all around the world. So yes. thank you for this experience. Thank you. And everybody else, of course, is also that in essence. You are the opening for that dimension to come into this world. That's right. And anything that we do that is creative or is successful or is good comes from that source flowing through us. Yes. It is not of our doing. No. But of the greater doing. Yes. Of consciousness. Yes. So I want to thank you all for being a part of this really magnificent journey. It's been um, a part of what I know is my life's calling to be able to be the whole for all of this to flow through. So I especially want to thank you and uh, um, you and Kim for coming to Chicago these past 10 weeks, every single week to share a new earth with all of us. As I said earlier, I uh, really encourage all of you to let this be your summer rereading book. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, you should pass it on. There's no greater gift than sharing it. That's why I wanted to share it with you all. There's no greater gift than sharing it with somebody that you care about and having their lives also be awakened and transformed by the words that point you in the direction of the experience of awakening. Always download the webcast. Yes. Yes. And uh, we'll be back in the fall. There's no telling what we'll do. That's right. There's no telling. This is just the beginning. So thank you all. And again, as Gandhi said, let's all go out in the world and be the change we want to see. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.